Welcome back, everybody, to Spirit Place. More Spiral Knights. Again, we are diving down with the Bacon Lord shares in the, Me in the last Mexican, which I have doubts on his claim, but he's in the gang attorney, so I guess that gives him some sort of authority. Dude, they're just having a Bacon Lord in general in our team is kind of nice. We're going to go with, the, the again, the same kind of trifecta loadout. We can only do so much in a loadout perspective. I guess we can go basic arcade if we really want to. Dreams of Nightmare, like... Uh, I haven't used swords very often. It's just kind of nice running the, the, this area in general. Pardon me as I coffee up. Prognosis symbiosis. We got such a, a beautiful myriad of characters. One thing I wish that which I know at the end of the, the, the run, we get to see profile pictures of everybody kind of like close up. I wish that would uh, that was like a more often thing. Because seeing everybody up close would be neat. I know you can inspect people and all that too, so I mean. No big deal, but um. You know what? Is that this is the loadout we're looking for? Yes. Yes, it is. Mother Mexico. Slime, slime you. Okay, I got nothing, I'm sorry. <sighs> Excuse me. Mike went back in time. Okay, well, let's let's not die by a triple freaking lumbar combo. <laughs> Alright, uh I mean that was awesome. Don't get me wrong, but come on. Everybody in the pool. Yada. The Mexicans know the Bacon Lords. Is that like a uh, a tran a transference of deity? It's like I've heard of the uh, I've heard of the Muslim God. I've heard of him. You're like kind of a tip of the hat nod. Yeah, I don't mess with you. You guys decapitate people. That's where the term leathernecks came from, by the way. In the seventh seventeen uh, yeah late seventeenth century, America actually did the, this is history. I'm just not sure on the date, but it is history. The America actually de declared war on the Muslim nations because they were uh, just raiding our passive, peaceful boats and decapitating people. Um, and then we started fighting back, and they stopped doing that. And but they called them leathernecks because they what they do is they'd hound one person and cut his head off in the middle of combat, and they didn't like that. So they would literally wear like once they once that happened, and that, that, dude, that seems dramatic. I hope that goes without saying. Just seeing, like, a buddy of yours, like, you're in combat, and they just, like, put him off in a corner and cut his head off. Even though they're going to lose the fight, they still do it, and you're like, what the living crap is wrong with you, dude? Surrender? I don't know. Boom, it becomes part of your religion. Oh, my gosh. Is he... He's now the last cowboy. Well, I mean, second to last cowboy, I guess. We can kind of throw ourselves in that mix. Just don't run yourself into the spikes with the, the snapback, I, I beg of you. I mean, that's, that was a nice haul. Not quite, um, you know, radium worthy. Because we're not in the, the appropriate depth, but still, it's kind of nice. Oh, I feel like a little aerial. Uh, probably not necessary, but let's go. <sighs> Poor slime man. I feel like I just beat up a fat kid. Ah! You get the wing. You get the. <laughs> you get the fox. McCloud of the clan. McCloud sword. We were talking about airplane wings and making things look cool. I, I, sometimes about a half hour is not enough to expound upon a rant or a riff. But I know the, uh, we we're talking about the wonderment of a child. The things that sometimes, once you once you learn of them, you're just like, oh. Yeah, it's, uh, well, it's not as cool anymore. It's kind of like finding out your favorite sports hero actually just took a lot of steroids. He's not really that good. He just has over enhancing, you know, chemicals going on in his body. 
you're like, well, uh, alright. I guess he's still cool. You didn't really need to put that bomb there, but here he comes. Gotcha! Let's try again. Oh, and he totally dashed out of it. Mike. You're less what is what's going on with that floating money? I mean I I that's cool. I like floating money. <laughs> Come on. Okay, we could still make this happen. Here we go. Gotcha. Do it again. It's a threat and a promise. It keeps getting knocked back. Oh, he was, uh, oh my gosh, we might actually die in this level. <laughs> okay, okay. Yikes, man. Critical hit. Critical hit in Spiral Knights is not really a critical hit, it's just you being extremely unobservant. I was trying to look at other free games to play. You know, trying to spice up the channel just a little bit. I know we got Hammer Watch going on with the wife. I've had that game for a very long time. I think it came out in 2013. We probably should switch our weapon to the Winter Grave. It just makes sense. Making sense is good. It's good to make sense. But I know, uh. Let's go, let's game called. Fantasy Star 2 is out. But I don't know if I want to play that. I really like Spiral Knights. It's, a, it's one of the ones, classic ones to keep coming back to. It's free to play. You can run it on Java, which is like archaic Q basic programming the, these days. I mean, the, obviously the uh, the quality of games probably should do Winter Grave. We're we're not we're not really like if I was solo, I'd, I'd do some some kind of fun shenanigans. But I mean, look at us. I guess this is fine. Might as well expedite. Everyone else is gonna. We could do switch shoot. Oh, let's do switch shooting. That's such a good idea. We don't have an umber driver. Why don't we have an umber driver? What's wrong with us? Let's go. He's got the fire one. Let's let's also partake the firing escapade that the last May can is is going on. I know it's not near. Excuse me. It's not nearly as efficient. Is, uh, you know, the, the winter grave, but I think we'll be okay. I got a feeling. I got this feeling. Down in my bones. It's not often I have, like, dual cowboys. Do you have, do you have like, ears on your hat? <laughs> really gonna fight with a piercing weapon? I, well, okay, to each his own, I guess. Now, if I could just make sure the, the weapon coordination is there. Okay, good, good, good. And dude, the Z cores sell for a good amount, which is always nice. 500 a pop, man. You know what that pays for? Punches kids education. Especially now that he, they all have to go, go to school online and not get the uh, the quality of the education that they did before. I mean, that's rough. How are you getting real world, world experience learning about a craft that, uh, and getting a degree that you won't really uh, use in the real world? First, like five minutes. I mean, that's how you know that the all the educational system is just like either a club. When you're paying fifty thousand dollars a year for Harvard for a club. They didn't reduce their rates because of online schooling. That I mean, why why not? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you, you should. It's not the same experience. Hello. Oh, Mike was not ready. My mistake. Mr. Mayken. Must be you. Must awaken to the world. I cannot do this myself. My umber driver does not exist yet. That probably might be the, the next thing we make for ourselves. I have a uh, fond memories of the time when I was in an arena and there were two healers and I had a loadout such as this. So I'm like, hey, it's a construct arena. We can make some magic happen here. And then um, it was a great theory. And then they both uh, healed themselves and he like and I could not get a kill on them regardless of how much fire I think I had a fire and a volt deck alchemer storm driver that's it I think that's what, uh, what we had boom oh crap <laughs> oh no again help we're going but what they did was they you know they have pushback in their heel there's a third level of the arena and they actually uh Push me into the spikes. 
like three or four times. It was getting to the point like I I I just legit gave up. I'm just I'm fine. I don't think we're. I think it does have knockback. Just a little bit on the charge, maybe. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Mike is not ready again. The danger of having this uh, this gun in here is we're just gonna shut the door on ourselves. Kind of a pain. We're open and shut the door and confuse the living hell out of everybody else. I'm going in. Ooh. Got scared. Didn't want to get shot by a little uh Pian oh, hello. Oh no! Okay, you, you can hit it. I'll wait. Till we both decide no. <laughs> we waited long enough. Impatience has, hits people differently depending upon your latency. I'm doing what you do. Because my fingers don't have the coordination necessary. Also, we gotta relearn how to switch shoot. Sorry, single switch. I tried it at one point. Gave up, but I think our computer is a little bit better. Since, like, it's been years since I tried to make it like a certain practice of mine. So, is that it? It's the most simplistic sleep level I think I've ever seen. Usually, uh, there's a little bit more to them, and there's optional areas, but that's okay. Like, I like myself some sleep levels. It's good. You know what? We're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go Akron. I, I I haven't done it yet. I don't I don't think. But it is about time to use the Akron for its. I mean, it's meant to whack things. Speaking of the wonderment of child. Where my brain just kind of just dove back to again. Ugh. There's like, there's certain levels uh, that your mind takes it. Can we do sword? We got swords, right? Boom. Boom. All shadow. Boom. We'll try, we'll try to do Akron only. I'm sure it'll be great. But, uh, there's... So there's... Whoa. Certain levels. Let's go, boys. Or, or you can wait. That's fine. Um, the first level's like... So you tell a story, right? There's a two-year-old, a four-year-old, and an eight-year-old. We say that the story's like... Little Jimmy got up, walked over to the door, opened the door, and a dragon was behind it. Oh no! Okay. Oh, well, that's right. We have ASI on our on our. Uh... We have the ASI trinket, I believe. I'm just gonna do, dude. I'm epic legend light. Check it out. I know exactly what I'm doing. Ah, uh, we want this. Like, hopefully, you're effective in everything you do. So there's three versions that you can interpret that story, right? Depending upon your necessity of wonder. The first level is... Just saying... Little Billy... I forget what the kid's name was. Got up and walked up to the door. Now that's pretty epic when it comes to a two-year-old. So getting up and just walking. That's, that's the first level. Once you get into understanding and wisdom, then you go to the second level. The second level is actually having the motor mechanics to open the door. That's pretty incredible. But you know what? Let's go. Just opening that door. They're just gonna beat up. We gotta defend them. We gotta. It's, it's necessary. Okay, never mind. I, I took a nap. <laughs> that's what happens when you get old man, I'm telling you. The third level is there was a lion behind the door. I mean, you've hit ultimate understanding, you've hit ultimate motor function. I guess we don't really need a third one. You know, ultimate motor function, so you're to the point where you're like, eh, alright. Well, now we, we actually hit the ultimate mystery. Like, the further in you go... Lasers with an S. Dude, thank you. New Forge Spark. 
Lasers are awesome. What else are we spending our energy on? We're gonna donate more to Punch? I know I do it all the time, but... <laughs> like, like it's, that's kind of like our end game is just having fun. Oh no. Oh no. We blocked the sleep. Life lesson, boys. If you're about to go to bed, put a shield on. It might work. Just, oh, okay. I'm like, what the crap? <laughs> Did he shoot me with like a, a Callahan or something? It's so awesome that it's 500 damage on the third swing. I'm, I'm beginning to understand the power behind uh, Makes Windu's Purple Lightsaber, the Akron. That's kind of where they got the idea from literally just plagiarized it right out of his hands. I don't know why I thought him picking up that money would be for me. Like, I would get it. Ah! Baboo. 700 damage? That is so cool. Boom. I did it. There's different levels of wonderment, right? Uh, any expertise you go into, like a, um, this game, for example, you start out as a lower level. There's something about a system of progression that everybody can understand and kind of relate to. We start at the lower level, the Defender Elite, that kind of thing. Once we get up there, put our time in. Come on. Dude, the sneezes. Anyway, we put our time in. We understand that we, we look at all, all our past, like, uh, life choices as far as gear to get. Man, man I should just got Chaos. <laughs> and, and I should just got the Akron and the Polaris. And uh, made everybody's life in lockdown a lot more fun. Or the regular game. Okay, stop getting hit. The other people would prevent you from getting hit by destroying everything. That's what they do. <laughs> but you look at your past life choices on your way up, and like, you know what, it was kind of innocent, and we were customizing our character. I'm just taking this game, for example. So, I mean, it was, it was nice. I had fun. But at the same time, if I was going for pure efficiency, now that I have a greater understanding of what we're at, I probably would have made a different choice. I mean, that's part of life, man. And you can use that experience when, when you're trying to coach somebody else. Like, yo, I wouldn't get this if I were you. I'm just trying to help you. So you, you eventually get, this is where you try to encourage the next generation to become better and faster. And this is like, this is how society progresses. Now, the, there's, there's the flip side to that, right? This is where the transcendence comes into play. It's tough, it's tough for me to go on a rant for a while without transcendence because the, the the flip side can be like i'm gonna abuse the next generation out of their ignorance i can be like yo if you get this it'll make you better when in reality if you get that i can take it from you and then i'll become better but we and the thing is that option also exists we know it exists we know the evil that's in our hearts um unfortunately that's the reality we gotta kind of meld with now luckily a game like this where there's co-op you don't have to probably not gonna do this yet <laughs> there's co-op you don't have to worry about that kind of stuff so much um there's no friendly fire that's what i was getting at we just, you can just kind of have fun with it i mean there's obviously things you can do to to make each other's lives miserable but it's very rare going to do that you go with the in here in this game especially in the clockworks with the assumption that you know everyone's just gonna here to have fun get the basil or get to the end or you know just, just kill some time while doing a constructive thing together so games are made for enjoyment. If you're if you're playing a game and you're not having fun, question what you're really doing. I I do that. Actually, I still have to do that. Risk of rain, everything. Like you get to the point of exhaustion, where like is coffee and another game really what I need in my life, or should I just go take a nap? Because I'm old and that's what we do now. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Let's go left. We're super speedy. I remember this part. Yes. Good. Oh crap. Uh, I don't, I don't have to walk up there, do I? Yeah, we don't. We can just go this way. Okay, maybe we do. Crap. <laughs> so if someone wants to, well, oh, we can just go through the center. That's right. Oh no, boo! The Bacon Lord has betrayed us. 
how dare you mess up one thing that's unforgivable like there's there's an instance where you could have done this done that on purpose but what's the point besides making trolling right making people angry is that really the point no we're kind of in this together everyone likes usually likes working together and the whole point of a co-op game is to you know co-op way to victory otherwise go play a pure pvp go play some lockdown everyone hates each other there but even there you have like at the team aspect i'm glad it's not solo i'm kind of glad they didn't go the direction of a 1v1 it would have got even more frustrating based on the limited programming of the game the akron's freaking everywhere dude except for in this guy's hands you chose <gasps> Your outfit is just so good. <laughs> I think that chips out a shield a little bit more. Boom, boom. Everywhere. Mike, you want to help out? You're always there for us, man. Sometimes I doubt you. And then you come on back. That I get a. Uh, I, I don't know what dictates the damage bonus anymore. Is it direct impact? Is it if they walk in on the fire? I'm not sure. That's all I'm saying. Uh, crystals. Don't care. I do. But I'll be up here if you need me. I'll get to enjoy a cup of coffee while being sort of efficient at the same time. But efficiency is kind of like the enemy of a. Uh, Imagination. You know, we have two sides of our brain. We have imagination. We have log the logic side, the logos, not the god, but the, you know, literally logic, reason. Matt, they're 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 two sides. You need passion. You need logic. You need both of them to make up a person. So when one overrules the other, that's when that's when things kind of get a little little perverse. Like you need a and perverse means same definition of evil. You take an intent and you. You take it away from its meaning. Like you, you literally per pervert it. Now the definition of perversion is actually the def definition of evil. It's a violation of purpose. You need to uh, get usually good, usually. Actually, I don't even know how you could violate that definition, but the definition of good is, is just like purpose in and of itself. But you have to have purpose. Why I said the, the transcendent comes into play is because like that's, the transcendent can be viewed as like the rules of the game. There have to be rules in order to have to in order to violate the rules. And someone else, something higher, some sort of purpose that's higher than yourself or myself, has to dictate those rules. If not, um, then man is just the, the maker of all the rules. And uh, who are you to tell me that your rules are good and mine are not? Who are you to tell me I should pay my taxes? Who are you to tell me I should be in this war? Who are you to tell me that killing babies is not okay? I mean... This is, this is where a man kind of takes his, his liberty to the nth degree. Violating the even his own theories of evolution where your whole goal is just to breed and uh, make make newer versions of yourself. Um, so then you can take the, the other kind of idea which you pitch in the progressivism, which again is, is cancel culture. Progressing is to cancel. Instead of conserving the value and the dignity that makes you a person, uh, you eventually argue that abortion is okay even though evolution means we should probably make more babies to get to the you know, danger room. That was kind of a pity. But you, you know what I mean? Alright, so, on to lighter topics. But I can't help him, man. You watch his channel eventually. We're, we're, we're gonna be diving into the deeper stuff here. That's what, that's what we like to do. Think, take simplicity and, and kind of unfold the, the value inside of it. Like, right now, I'm to the point where I, I study philosophy and, and theology, and you meld the two. <clears throat> Get to the point where uh, you, you find the meaning point between philosophy and science, because you can't have one without the other, and they both complement each other. I don't even know what that did. What is what is what is the switch just doing here in the middle of the nothingness? Okay. Play danger room in this mess. Oop. Oh no! We were spared, but then immediately got paid for it. <laughs> you think that trap? Would uh, light the slime on fire? No, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying it kind of would make sense. You know, I'm thinking too much in a Catacomb Kid's perspective. 
where everything just kind of lines up and where it's like, you know what, that makes sense. Let's put, let me put that in the game. We talk about an awesome developmental roadmap in. Catacomb Kids, again, if you have not played it, I, I'd recommend watching at least somebody play it. Myself, I mean, obviously myself, but it's, it's, uh, it's, it's worth your time. Learning curve is quite steep. Uh, but just like anything else, it's kind of good in life, I, I think. Like, you see people masters at their crap. Not a master at this game. Don't don't let me fool you. You see people that are, like, have a general understanding and basic tool knowledge of a, of a certain function. But it's way more advanced than yours. Like, uh, I don't know, motorbike racing. I have no idea what I'm doing. But when somebody does, like, a flip on the giant machine that's going 100 miles an hour or whatever up and down the dirt hills, I'm, uh, I'm impressed by that. I think it's cool looking. If you don't, I don't know. I don't know what to say. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Some things are just cool. You can. The thing about uh, uh, going too far into the logical sense of the brain is you. Uh, you eventually get. To... Oh, I'm so sorry. I shot the mech. <laughs> I almost made no more mechans in the world. Like you, you start to. Uh, um, you know, Darwin issue, right? You start start to put a value and efficiency on art itself, and you you make it lose value. We could lose its own meaning. It's made the meaning of art is the creativity and the passion. It's hard to quantify that. Um, it's one of the reasons why, you know, a paint and this is where you get uh, art based on names and reputation, based on history. Why is a wire Van Gogh's paintings worth more than my kids? Well, I mean, there's a long answer to that. But at the same time, it's a legit quote. Well, you. Please hit the chest first. We've done it. Oh, wow. Five full coins, huh? Still technically a thing. You guys can uh, fight the monsters. I'm old. I'll stay back here. I like the the intro. I think it's called Dusker Gear, right? Oh no, <laughs> that's a uh, that's that's the the swordsman. That's the isn't Dusker like the man? I'm I'm really showing my ignorance here. My gunner bias by only knowing the names of my own gear, but not even correctly. I kind of perverted that, right? Trying to say Dusker is the first part of the, the Gunslinger gear when I think it's just straight up Gunslinger. I, what did I say? That's not Dusker. It's Casino Bad. Shock T Man's a freaking caveman. Dude, reading Ravi Zacharias when he starts talking about the wonderment of a child, I forgot how to appreciate good vocabulary. Like, when I have to, I, I've read a bit of it on the stream before, but uh, the guy uses. <laughs> I once uh, had a conversation with an atheist, and he, like after we talked for about a minute, he said, "You're just trying to use big words to confuse me." I've never been told that in my life, so it, it hit me like a shock. Like you don't know what these words mean, and uh, um, and I. So this this not pride at all, um, but. Sometimes when you talk to an audience and, and they sound very fluent and they sound very articulate, they might not have any idea what you're saying. This is actually the best. Uh, one guy I was talking with and I used the word secretion. He said, I don't know what that means. I'm like, are you serious? He said, yeah. And he looked at me and, and just me asking him, are you serious, was insulting. And I understand that. Even though it's legit. Like I wanted him to understand. But at the same time, okay, we get this. At the same time, like, this is gonna be amazing. It has to be. It has to be. Let's take out the big guy because he doesn't move. Oh no, dude, that was so much damage. Okay, okay, we're, we're probably dead. We're dead. Okay. We got zero to death combo. That was a that was the best melee combo I think I've ever seen in my life. Let's uh, grab our sword and just start swinging. Why would you sigh, man, brother Bacon? Got this. So if somebody chose the correct sword, we uh we did not. We'll, we'll keep on with the poison theme. Ah! Should have brought an Acheron, man. Does more damage than the flourish to these guys. So we can do this. Uh, sort of. We should probably take some some tactical moves here. Take a really. Wow, that was one strong turret, dude. Boom. Trying to help. Okay. I knew you'd all be up here. Alright, let's do what we did before. 
was hoping for a damage bonus, but I guess I don't know how to make that happen. Still, how many years have we been together, Mike? And this is, this is, you don't even tell me how you work. You haven't learned how to talk yet? Come on, where's your, where's your macro evolution inside your brain? You got, you got like, disjointed arms. You can't have a... Get tired of the sword. <laughs> oh, I thought, uh, I expected to, I just glanced at the map. I expected to look at the map and everyone just kind of watching me miss with my gun over and over again. No, I'm not alone. Okay, here we go. I've never started in a uh, danger room up here before. Boom. I like it. I'll, you know what? I'll take it to the face. Okay, now I don't want to. Now I'm scared. So I'm afraid I might be dying. Yacha. Yacha. Okay, finally. Dude, that took a long time. We had to hack at that sucker. Uh, lots of enemies over here. Damage bonus, please. Can we actually make it happen? Yes, we've done it. Okay. Boom. No! Get out of the shock drink. It's kind of like a pool for electricity. Okay, we should probably use this. And... Okay, go. Let's go. Let's go. Something about combat just kind of makes you lose your train of thought. I have no idea what I was talking about. That's okay. Alright. We are immortal. We have inside us blood of kings. Boom. If it wasn't for that, like, zero to death combo in the beginning, I think we did fairly well. Besides freezing the enemy right in front of us while we were up there in the corner. It was uh, probably a, a poor choice. It's what we call uh, making bad decisions when you're a toddler. Poor choice. It's a good way of saying that was you messed up. Kind of behind that, we only got three rares. Oh, six radiance out of that? So good. Take it. I accept it. And now we have a area up here. Okay, good. We have a winter grave. I'm coming, man. Gotta protect that cannon. Brother Bacon's just freaking out of control. Excuse me. I, I could have swore I was over here. Again, the driving analogy just kind of comes into place. Can you imagine? driving your car and that happens no one can no one can or maybe some people do you just black out and you've had enough I'm gonna fire two shots down here hopefully it makes a difference he's got a robot where were you during our danger room my friend uh wow crap oh good i mean thank you for taking the shot for me You got a friend in... I was hoping we could find a gambling casino, but that's okay. We get him. Boom. We might have. We might have. Excuse me. Freaking love slimes, dude. What is this with slimes? I can understand the concept of undead. Does that come from the uh, the original movie, The Blob? Which, by the way, is probably a documentary documentary of, of what realistic evolution looks like. Why would anything in evolution have a structure? Why wouldn't it be just a mass amount of consummation? Consummation? That's not the word I meant to use. Mass amount of consumption. There we go. A giant one. This is where evolution, in my sense, in my being, doesn't make sense. Why would anything evolve to a different structure to help it survive? Besides the, like, just plainly ignoring the, the lack of reason there, um, the, the, the whole thing where, like, why wouldn't you just become a bigger version of whatever it is because you keep consuming things? Why, what's the, what's the variant? Like, where does, where does the reason come into play? Like, is it, like, you can't escape reason. Oh, that was bad. Like, it had to have a reason for doing these things. Like, rationale exists even in the, the, the basic design function. Why would the fish grow legs? Why would it? Why, I mean, you know what I mean? Why wouldn't it just be a bigger fish? So the the giant amiibo, actually, it's the same thing in Akira. If you ever seen the, the uh, anime Akira, eventually the human devolves into a giant, like, energy, fleshy robot amoeba thing. Which is also sorts of weird. 
and grotesque to look at, but... And then Akira, who's the first flesh you maybe think, comes back and, and saves everybody, and you're just like, oh, yeah, what? <laughs> Is that how evolution works? I don't, I don't know. Because uh, coming out from uh, Japan... Actually, I, don't, I honestly don't know where Akira came from. I thought it was Chinese in origin, but I'm, I'm probably mistaken on that. But it seems more like a, a communistic propaganda thing. I don't I, I don't really want to go into it right now. Uh, it's been years since I've seen Akira. But anyway, that's that's what makes the most sense to me in evolution. Why wouldn't something just stay like a one-celled amoeba become a bigger, giant cluster of celled amoebas? Kind of like how bacteria form in on each other can form kind of like a... Entity in of itself, itself, and we can see examples of this in our sewer systems, which is kind of disgusting if you think about it. But then again, were we to say what is good and what is right and what is wrong in the, in the eyes of evolution? Anyway, once again, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, click the like button, subscribe. If you want to see more in the future? This is what I was talking about. The screen right here. Everybody looks beautiful. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Take care, guys.